registration place. So this is also the reception. So all the teams, they should be registered here. We we'll also have a lot of people coming here to cheer up for all the chefs. And to our knowledge, this year we have around 170 candidates um, from 22, 22 places and here to compete this steaming. Actually, Tianmen is very famous for steaming technique. I'm not the first time in Tianmen, but for me, of course, I tested steaming dishes. For me, I'm the first time be here. Before, I just heard like uh, Hubei is a famous place for steaming and Tianmen is also a well-known place in Hubei. And here we look at how the steaming food or dishes are produced. And here is the venue for the competition. Right now we are looking at all the chefs. I believe they are in position and doing the final minute check for preparation. Talking about the steaming dishes in Tianmen, we have to talk about the history. Let's look at the history. According to the evidence shows that the steaming actually already enjoyed more than 400 and 600 years. And according to the archaeologist, evidence shows that the steaming was first used as a cooking method. And it also reflects the origin for Shijiahe culture in Tianmen. And we also use that the we call it the zheng, that's a, a kind of the a wok or steamer that were invented at that time. So we use the heat at the bottoms to steam every food. So we look at the final preparation. So here the chef is preparing the ingredients all the raw materials here. Sorry, very quick interview. Where are you from? I'm from Jinmen. So today was your dishes uh, from the Zhanghe well fish. So what's the trick behind? Quite complicated. How long does it take? One hour. So you use the way of steaming, right? Yes, of course. Would you please show more? I will give you more opportunity and find out the secret later on in your live stream. Talking about the history of steaming actually enjoy more than 400, 600 years and the team actually the first place for steaming dishes. I also with all the updated and the progress and I enjoyed one dish and yesterday I actually enjoyed one dish that's the a preserved eel. We all know that there are different kind of cooking method for the Chinese cuisine and TM actually they use my ways to do their steaming dishes. So for Tianmen, there are nine method and all cover different techniques. We will show you more today. Hello, very quick interview. So till now, this is the third round of the competition, and today is the beginning of the third round. Would you please talk a little bit more about the competition? Actually, that's divided by nine rounds. We also have one more round, that's 25 candidates were the uh, competent per round. Uh, we started 6 a.m. this morning, actually, and here come to the third round for today. I look at the judges, actually, there were already a lot of food that already cooked. So that's for the previous round, right? Yes. So that's their finished food, right? So everything finished here, we will bring to the judges. Yes, a very fair competition. So let's look at the chefs. For today's live streaming, we also invited the chef of committee of steaming, Mr. Wu. 
So for the competition today here, we do please introduce more about the competition. For this year is our 2018 competition in techniques for all the steaming dishes. And today you can look at that's all the Chinese steaming technique competition. So doing the different dishes actually, and they need to prepare two dishes of steaming. They can show their techniques, they show their innovations, creativities, everything in that two dishes. So that should be created by themselves, by all the chefs. And every dish is actually the first time, let's say, this their debut for today. So that's also a very good opportunity and a platform for all the chefs to show their techniques, to exchange their techniques, and to learn from each other. So right now, I believe they are preparing not start yet for the cooking process. I believe they are doing their last minute preparation. Talking about the history, especially in Tianmen, they started a, from a Tao County and they already have a history of over 4,600 years. So we talk about the first steamed dishes actually at the very beginning. So that's our ancestors. They knew exactly how to use the steaming techniques to cook food. We heard about the Mianyang's three dishes of steaming that's from Xiantao, that's our neighbor county. So how that different from Tianmen night dishes? So that's part of our techniques. So for Tianmen, we had the nine ways of cooking. So for the one you talk about, that the three cooking, that's actually one of our branches, let's say. So for our nine techniques or nine methods, that's steaming with rice powder, with exclusive steaming, steaming in seasoning, seasoning in the bowls, steaming in wrapped food, and the combination steaming, steaming in shaped mold, sealed steaming and dry steaming. So I'm from Tianming and right now I'm doing my dishes. I'm doing the dishes called Bai Yu. I have no idea about the, the Bai Yu. Please introduce more to us. What is Bai Yu exactly? Actually, you can see here is the radish. You use Bai Yu from radish, right? Yes. So you can see there is a carved in the radish shape and it also combined with the fishes. So fishes actually in the end you will find the fishes will embed it inside the radish. So how many chefs we sent to this competition? We sent around 34 chefs. That's a very big team and we are the host. So also enjoy the largest number of chefs. So actually we provide a lot of tools and everything that needed based on the international rules. We provide like the, all the seasonings, all the sauces, all the tools you need to use. And for the raw material or the, for the also the food materials, everything because it's from their creativity and innovation, so they need to prepare by themselves. We will provide the very necessary and the fundamental ones. So also from Tianmen, right? So what do you will bring to us today? I'm um, also bring the uh, fish dishes, but so you will not really see the bones. We will take bones out. So that's the fish dishes. So we talk about the uh, fishes, that's the yellow fin. Actually, it's very small size. It's really hard for the chefs to move all the bones. So you will use the egg white, right? So why we use the egg white? So of course, first for the color because it's white, it's very similar to the fish color. So that is why we use the egg white. And we see right now, can see the fish in the bulk. So we need to really make the fish crispy, so it's very easier to take off the bones. For Tim, I believe fish actually is very famous. Actually, we hear full of abundant aqua products. 
So we have more than 20 cans of fishes, and we are full of different fishes and resources. So you can see we have a lot of different fishes. So we have the eel, we have the black carp, the soft shell, the turtle, and the silver carp, big head carp. So for all our viewers, if you are very interested, please leave your message, and we can give you the answer to your questions. Please leave your questions on your favorite media's platform, and we will bring your question to Mr. Wu. So what are you doing here? So we are doing the yell. So this is in the very golden color. So we call the golden soap. So golden means like yellow, right? You can see this a very golden color. So we will bring that with the chicken soap all together. And we see the shrimp. Why? So we can see the Chinese yam plus that shrimp. So I'm not from Tianmen, from Fujian. So I believe that's a little bit similar. Steaming dishes that's right now is very famous and very gained the good population. The population of the people really love the steamed dishes because it's very healthy. So uh, what fish are you cooking? So already take off the bones. That's the mandarin fish. So you can see right now we're showing the cutting techniques. So we also have different kind of the slices here. So we use the steam with all the three kinds of sl slices. So you can see we have the carrot. Or we also can use the shredded meat. You can see it's sliced very, very in, in small, thin pieces. So it requires a very high technique. This is really take years, just one or two years you can't make this. This need at least three years for, pra for practice. So this is a really exquisite. So you can see different anything you can slice, you can make this dish. So you can see this is for the fish is a fillet. And we are doing another dish, just use the Chinese teas and teas we brought by ourselves. And Tianmen is also famous as the home of tea. So we will use the steam plus tea, so that reflects the feature of Tianmen place. So this is really fresh tea. So you can see this is the tea plus pork ribs. And what's outside? We have the sticky rice to cover. So you can see we have sticky rice, we have pork ribs, and teas. So that's all together for that steaming dish. So this is another carp. You can see it's a very high technique for cutting this. Otherwise, it will cut in different pieces. You can see they all link together. So you can. This is called the shaped or steaming in a shape in a shaped mold. So basically, let's we place the food in the shaped and then we put on the fire for steaming. So we can see actually a lot of chefs they're preparing one dish involved fish. For the competition, we have a rule because the time is really short, very tight. So if you use the other meat, 
with bones especially that's really time consuming that's why a lot of chefs choose fish because fish need a shorter time to be completed so here at Tianmen actually we have different ways of cooking fishes and especially for steam we use different ingredients plus fish to bring the different steam dishes so it's quite different So it's like a steamed pork with rice flour. That's a very famous dish. So you can see the shape here is very, very nice. So also in a very golden color. And I believe that's bring the shrimp inside, you can see. So this is our famous dishes. Where are you from? I'm from Anhui. So you can see this is millet plus shrimp. So how long you prepare for this competition? I prepare for one month. So for this dishes, two dishes actually, I prepare for one month. Another dish I prepare is the steamed eggs plus fish. That's my another dishes. So that's also plus soup. So that's more the soup dishes plus steam egg. So we have two dishes. So how we ju judges make their decision? We look at the color, we look at the shape. Of course, we need to depend on its taste. So let's look at our viewers. I believe there are a lot of viewers gathering here. Have you tried steamed dishes? Yes. It's good. Of course, it's very delicious. Have you tried? Yes. You're from Tianmen, right? Yes. The thing is really good, right? Yes. Would you like to learn some dishes? Of course, yes. Your first time to see this competition? Actually, I, this is my second year. Last year, there was no competition. Yes. What about this year? I think this is really good. So I brought your grandsons and my mom. We're all here. Thank you. Let's look at all the other chefs, what they are doing. Where are you from? From Hubei, Jinmen. So I believe this is a very special dish. And it's duck fit. So all the dishes actually you can see actually it also have the different meanings to convey. So here is also want to create a shape of dragon. So right now we put that fit on the top. So the bottom that see a red pepper, ginger. So this is, must be really delicious and very spicy. So I believe this is another cold dishes. Can we try? Can we taste a little bit? Maybe no. So let's wait for when they finished. So I believe this is oyster. So you can see this is a really high technique in cutting in their exquisite. So you can see, actually this is all fish and they make the shape like the dumplings. So they have a very high cutting technique and from Zima as well. So 
you also bring two dishes here today, right? Yes. So here, because for dumplings in Chinese, it also explains the good wishes for prosperity. So I'm making this in the dumpling shape to have a very positive meaning for fortune. So for the fillings inside, actually, because right now a lot of people really attach great importance on healthy. So we have the a balance between meat and vegetables. So make sure the dishes include enough nutritional value. It looks very easy. It's just like for the old chefs, they just place some food on in the plate and finish to put them on the steam. Actually, it's really, really a complicated process for them to first make all the seasonings mixed together and also do all the cutting jobs. So this is also another seafood dish. And it's quite like from the very south part of China. So right now, it's like it's the process of preserve. So basically, we bring all the seasonings inside. Of course, it includes first seasonings we talk about here. Actually, that includes the a white liquor, ginger, Chinese prickly ash. So for the steaming, actually, dishes, so people ask whether we use for rice, if we want to use, we need to use the cooked rice or uncooked rice. For us, we suggest use uncooked, uncooked rice, because right now we want to make sure that all the dishes actually that can capture the original taste of each ingredients. So we can see the green beans and the pork. So where are you from? Jinmen team from Hubei province. So that's a crab dishes. So this is also another seafood dishes. So that's not only including crabs, that's also including fishes. So that's a very nice dishes with seafood. So I have questions. So whether we have team from Sichuan? Yes, of course. We have teams from 21 provinces, including Sichuan. So for the tables as empty, the chefs actually already finish their competition. So this is the third round of the competition for this morning session. So I believe here is actually a veggie dishes. So that's a veggie dishes. It's, that's really good. That's very healthy. So no fishes, no meat. I believe all the steamers here actually is prepared for all the shops, right? Yes. 
make we make sure like for all the shafts they have at least one cauldron so we have different layers of steamer right that if you want to like cook for a long time you put at the bottom is a short time you put at the top so all the shafts that they understand and they can coordinate with each other so there is another very nice shaped very eye-catching So you look at the, this is the Chinese watermelon. So you can see they have the different shape, and right now we put fish actually inside. I'm also from Timon. So I believe we'll go around already to introduce all the chefs. We will not further interfere them. Let's go to the judges' place to look at the finished dishes. For Tianmen, actually, steaming technique is the most important cooking method. And we talk about like for the wedding ceremony or for anything that the people want to celebrate, they must include in dishes of steaming. They think the steaming method actually also is prized a very good and positive meanings. And this is also bring a lot of very positive and good fortune meanings. So they also have a lot of like pronunciation that's very similar to the good meanings. So like steaming dishes is really taste good and have a very positive message. Right now, you can see the judges are busy tasting and giving the score to the dishes. Sorry to interrupt. What's the standard? For giving the scores, of course, should be steaming dishes. That's our first court standard. And then we talk about taste. It's over tasted, or it's overcooked, or it's not really cooked well. That's also another standard. And third, we look at the colors. 
Uh, it's a very good uh, steamy method, and the taste is well, and then we'll give higher scores. Any technique or secret behind the steaming techniques or dishes? Talk about the Chinese steaming dishes, actually. Everything is because of water, because for the heat, we need to heat the water, and we use the water steam to make the food ready. So of course, each province has their own features and the flavors of steaming dishes. We cannot use Tianmen taste to make the score to all the dishes. We need to think about the flavors and taste for the whole China. So make sure our scores and our valuation is on the equal footing. So every dishes, once they are ready, we will bring here for the judges. So everything that's ready, and we we'll bring the food come here, and after the judges finish their ju judges, after they gave the scores, we will bring the food back for the demonstration area. It's not a very easy job for our judges. It's not just very simply taste and eat something. It's really, really difficult job. <sighs> for the judges, you can see they have the list. So these are all the standards. So we need to check for each box. And we'll also give some feedback. So for each dishes, that score actually, it's the overall score per dishes. So we have the whole list. So for each judges, we also have the water, so that water basically for us to wash our mouths, so make our taste very clean, so we don't want the taste very mixed in our mouths, otherwise it's not really fair and equal to all the chefs. Another dish is coming here. For these dishes, so when you give the scores, what do you look at? First, I'm looking at whether it's steamed or not. So it's steamed and it's water. And the taste is really nice because the yam here it used actually steamed and put in the soup. So the whole soup tastes really nice. But I didn't give a very high score. Why? For me, I think it's like the, this dishes use different kinds of ingredients. So the thing is like it missed the leading actor. So we need to have a leading actor. So for the food, it need to have a leading ingredient. I cannot really tell for this dishes which is the key role or the key actor. So that is why that's the most area I think that should be improved. So Mr. Wu here have a lot of chefs that are coming from the whole China. So let's come here, I'll show you more. For all the chefs, actually, they come from different process, and they have all different features, for sure. So for Tianmen, actually, like for people from Luoyang, it's quite different. They have their preserved fish, preserved meat, that's already have the flavors. For Tianmen, actually, we focus more on healthy. So for the other places, some like really want to cook in a very short, short time. It's like a fast food. 
also talk about the Sichuan province or Chongqing province. We know they have very famous in hot pot and very spicy dishes. Yes, of course, their dish is all very spicy. So for like the pork ribs or for the fishes, they're all in spices, very hot dishes. So for steam, it's not just the very light taste. Actually, it also includes all different kinds of tastes and flavors to reflect the features from different process. Let's look at the demonstration areas. So we can see all different kinds of or shapes of our steamed dishes. You can see this is beef, right? And this is quite like the way from Liu Yang is like the a kind of the cook method. So that's pork dishes. And there's a fish hat. There's a, everything here steamed. I believe that should be from Hunan, right? I believe it's maybe from Hubei. And this is the one we just saw. It's the duck fit. So it's the very busy for our eyes because there are so many really eye-catching shapes. So let's follow Mr. Wu to look at the Tianmen dishes. All right, here we're gathering the most people here, dishes from Tianmen, and here is we call Tianmen night dishes, and here is the two dragons, and they're all made from fish. And here is mandarin fish, and this another fish dishes. You can see this is in the shape of London. So you can see these are grips in two colors. Of course, it's a veggie. And this is actually the carrot. It's carrot and radish. So this is the veggie dishes in a very, very good shape. So you can see this is crane. So that's crane is made from fish. And you can see actually the black part that's the shred kelp. So this is also from Tianmen. So Tianmen you can see for the dishes actually we bring all the features and you can see from the different because for Tianmen this is the, in the shape of pan. The Tianmen is also very rich in the knowledge and education area. So we also bring that culture background into our dishes. So you can see Ma Jiang actually also made of fishes. So we'll bring one ingredient on top of another ingredient. So this is the Chinese date. So we make them all grind into powder and make a new shape. So this is our chef. Mr. Liang actually is the four of the top chefs in Tianmen. So this is the representative dishes of Tianmen Nai dishes. So you can see this is in the dragon shape. And we use pork, actually it's not fish, it's 
or plus egg. It's not fish. It's not a fish dishes. So you can see this is a very very high technique, very very high nutrition. So during the whole process of cooking, because for Chinese people we're the generation of dragon, so this is also brings the tradition meaning into the dishes, and everything is cutting by our chefs. So it's also show and reflect the high technique, the exquisite cutting technique of our chefs. So it's including three people, it's me plus uh, two assistant chefs, we cooked the whole night for this one dish. It's really, really time consuming. Thank you so much. Uh, Lu, we know there are all different kinds of ways to do the steam dishes. What's the really the secret or the trick behind? So let me show you another very famous method of steaming. So this is from Jiangsu province. So this is not the way Hubei cook their steaming dishes. So this is different from Hubei or similar. It's actually focused more on the taste. It's more the salty taste. You can see all the dishes, you can see they have a very fine, detailed, nice, subtle cutting techniques. So you can see this all showcase the chef's technique. And here is also use the fish hat and fish dishes. And you can see Gusha actually all their ingredients, all their raw materials are very very expensive I can say that and we all know that for Gusha actually they also enjoy a very long history of steaming so you're the successor of that eight dishes of Gushan yes so for these eight dishes actually the tradition in our province and all these actually look like they are all meat dishes actually in the bottom there are veggies it's look in different but I can tell the nutrition is really high and it's very balanced it's very refreshing so it's not really have different taste, but I can tell it's really, really nice to try. So look at the top, actually that says meats and dishes. So we have the pork at the top and then surrounded that's the fishes and at the bottom that's veggie. So we have the mushroom at the bottom. So this is really healthy and this one So at the top is pork And this for the a pork pork dishes and this we call it is the a streaky pork or the side pork that's only the two places on pig that's suitable to make this dishes so this one we also have the a sausage plus seafood for this dishes 
That's including chicken on the left hand side, on the right hand side, as pork. So you can tell that includes the meat, the fish, that will be really, really taste fresh. So you can see we have, this is also the pork with the dark salt, soil sauce that for the seasonings. I also have the mushroom at the bottom. So this is actually a pre-preserved dishes. It's very juicy. So basically we preserve the fish and actually all this water or the soup you see actually is from the preserved fish. So we can tell they need a really long time to prepare. I believe we see the whole process and how to make the steaming dishes and we also taste a little bit. I believe there is a, a steamer outside that's around the total length of one meter. Let's go outside and check out. Today actually the weather is very nice. The forecast should be a raining day, but I believe today is really nice. So it gave a very, very favorable environment for good starting of today's competition. And then we had a lot of viewers and the people coming here. Because for Timing people, I believe they are very, very hospitality and they love food very much. And we also have a food carnival here. You can see here, hope you can see it, we have a steamer with a total length of one meter. So follow our camera, hope you can see there is a huge one. Here that's the famous dishes, that's the pork ribs. I believe people actually more or less take, had that before. Did you cook back home? Yes. So what about these dishes? No, just a very, very quick fried dishes. I have to learn more from the chefs, especially these kind of dishes look very easy, but we want to know how we make it. For me, before I came here, I believe that's the first thing it's easy, just put everything into the steamer. Uh, let time, let the water to heat everything ready. For today, I know actually it's really, really high technique on cutting and for steaming. Actually, there are nine methods. So after Mr. Wu introduced, actually, there are a lot of different subtle techniques required. So like for the Chinese cuisine, there are a lot of knowledge. Steaming dishes look very easy, but there are a lot of things behind the scene. I believe people here are very interested in this big steamer. I also talked to the organizers tomorrow here at the same place. We will have a China number one steamer. That steamer will create a new record. So here actually is something very famous dishes in Hubei. So this is quite frequently seen in our family table. 
It's like a grandma dishes. For in Hubei province, actually, we need to eat meatballs with the a sticky rice on the top. This is the very famous Hubei dish. The so Hubei is full of aqua resources and very famous of rice. So you can see the lotus roots, the pork, the seafood, this all should be included on the family table. To all the viewers, I'm from CMG, Wang Botang. To all the viewers, I'm also from CMG, Huang Yanqiu. Today, our live stream show you the a competition at Tianmen. We look at all the chefs, we look at the judges, how they evaluate every dishes. Hope this make your water make your mouth water. And this also come to the end of our live stream. It's time for us to take the fist.